Hello students, my name is Priyanka and I am your science teacher. So today I am here to start with the unit 6 that is natural phenomena. It is chapter number 14, winds, storm and cyclones. So let's start. Air is colorless, colorless and tasteless. Air is all around us. We cannot see the air. However, we can feel the presence of air. When the air blows, we can feel it on our body, on the leaves of a tree and so on. In fact, the earth is surrounded by a cover of air called atmosphere. The moving of air is called wind. Atmosphere. The cover of the air surrounding the earth is called atmosphere. It extends from the earth's surface to about 1000 km. But about 99% of the atmospheric air is present with 40 km from the earth's surface. The main layers of the atmosphere from the surface of the earth upwards are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere. Troposphere most of the atmospheric air is present in troposphere. Troposphere mainly consists of nitrogen 78%, oxygen 20.9%, argon 0.03%. Troposphere changes from about 8 km over the poles to about 16 km over the equator. Clouds, rain and snow are seen in troposphere. Stratosphere, the layer of atmosphere above the troposphere up to a height of about 50 km is called stratosphere. In stratosphere, there is a very little water vapor. Supersonic aircraft fly in this region. The temperature of stratosphere is higher than that of troposphere and remains nearly constant up to a height of 25 km. Ozone layer lies in the control zone of stratosphere. Ozone layer protects all living organisms on the earth from the harmful ultraviolet. UV, radiation coming from the sun. Mesosphere, mesosphere extends from the height of 50 km to 80 km. In the mesosphere, air is very thin and the temperature falls to about minus 85 degrees Celsius at a height of about 80 km from the earth. Thermosphere. Above mesosphere, thermosphere begins. In thermosphere, temperature increases with altitude. Air exerts pressure. We know air exerts pressure due to its own weight. We can experience many activities to show that air exerts pressure. Some of them are 1. It is easier to ride a bicycle in the direction of blowing wind because the blowing wind exerts a pressure on us in the same direction in which our bicycle is moving and makes our bicycle move faster. On the other hand, we find it difficult to ride a bicycle against the direction of wind because in the case, the blowing wind exerts a pressure on us in the opposite direction in which our bicycle is moving. It makes difficult for us to drive while moving against the wind. Second, Similarly, while rowing a sailboat, we find that it is easier to row the sailboat in the direction of wind. It is difficult to row a sailboat in the direction of wind. Third, when we are flying a kite, then the wind coming from our backside helps the kite to fly higher and higher. It is the blowing wind which exerts the pressure on the kite to fly higher. Fourth, when air is filled in a bicycle tube with the help of an air pump, it inflates. Here, it is the pressure exerted by air filled in a bicycle tube which keeps the tube tight and makes the bicycle tube feel hot. However, if we fill too much air, the bicycle tube bursts because it cannot withstand huge pressure of air. 
all the above experiences show that moving air or wind exert a force or pressure on objects what causes air pressure the earth is completely surrounded by air the gravity pull of the earth pulls the molecule of air and other atmospheric gases downwards towards the ground the upper layers of the atmosphere rest on the lower layers thus exerting pressure on the surface of the earth air is compressible the lowest layer is the most compressed and is therefore the dense with an increase in altitude both density and pressure decrease rapidly air pressure is important for the following reasons one it creates wind when air moves it becomes wind the difference in atmospheric pressure gives rise to wind system of the earth second it influences weather changes in weather are related to changes in the atmospheric pressure air movement upward and downwards caused due to differences in pressure creates cloudy and clear skies brings rain and fine weather third weather forecasting changes in air pressure give important clues for forecasting weather high speed winds accompany reduced air pressure moving air is called wind it has been found that fast blowing wind creates a region of low pressure let us perform the following activities to explain the fast blowing wind creates a region of low or reduced air pressure activity aim high speed winds are accompanied by reduced air pressure materials required two balloons of equal size stick thread water procedure take two balloons of equal size fill little water into both the balloons to make them slightly heavier and more stable inflate both the balloons by filling air into them and tie their mouths properly with strong threads hang the two inflated balloons about 10 cm apart on a stick with the help of threads tied to their mouths if you blow air or wind hard in the gap between the two balloons from the mouth you see that the two balloons come closer observation when the high speed air moves through the gap in between the balloons the pressure of air fills in the gap the air pressure on the outside of the balloon being higher pushes the two balloons towards each other and makes them come closer conclusion high speed winds are accompanied by reduced air pressure movement of air blowing or moving air is called wind the speed of wind may vary from 5 to 10 km per hour gentle breeze to 700 to 800 km per hour tornado the speed and direction of wind is affected by the following factors location on the earth rotation of the earth local conditions height from the ground effects of air pressure winds are caused due to difference in air pressure warm air is lighter as it rises it cools and spreads once it is cooled the air start moving back to the earth the region from where the air rises an area of lower pressure is created the region where the air sinks an area of high pressure is created since the atmosphere constantly works to store a balance air moves in from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure the movement of air is known as wind atmospheric pressure influences weather upward movement of air causes cloud and the downward movement of air causes clear sky as air rises and creates an area of low pressure water vapor in it condenses to form clouds conversely sinking air generally means that condensation cannot take place low pressure is therefore associated with cloudy skies and wet weather high pressure is therefore associated with the clear and sunny sky
generation of wind. Wind currents are generated due to uneven heating on the earth. Uneven heating on earth. As you already know, the regions around the equator are heated by the direct rays of the sun. The air in these regions gets heated and rises and, and the cooler air from the surrounding regions 0 to 30 degree latitude on either side of the equator moves in. These winds blow from north and south towards the equator as shown in the given figure. The regions around the north and south poles are colder as the sun rays slant the most in these regions. As a result, cold wind rushes northwards from the south pole and southward from the north pole to replace the gap generated by the rising warm air at latitude of about 60 degrees. The flow of winds is not exactly vertically north to south or from south to north as you can see in the given figure. A change in the direction of wind is observed due to the rotation of the earth. Uneven heating of land and water. We already know that water is a bad conductor of heat so there is always an uneven heating pattern seen in case of land mass and water bodies. Uneven heating of land and water. We already know that water is a bad conductor of heat so there is always an uneven heating pattern seen in case of land mass and water bodies. In summer, the land mass of northern India is much hotter than the surrounding water in the oceans most of the time. The air above the land heats up and rises and the wind from the ocean carrying water vapor flowing. These are monsoon winds and cause rainfall in most parts of India. In winter, the winds from the land blow towards the ocean as land is cooler than the water bodies. These winds called winter monsoon brings scanty rainfall to coastal Tamil Nadu as they take moisture while blowing from Bay of Bengal. Thunderstorms A thunderstorm is a storm accompanied with the thunder. Formation of a thunderstorm needs moisture to form clouds and eventually a rain. Front like beach or mountains that help in lifting the warm air upwards. Rapidly using warm air due to the sun's heat, the temperature warms the air and creates strong winds which rise in the upward direction. Rapidly using warm air due to the sun's heat, the temperature of a place rises. The rise in temperature warms the air and creates strong wind which rise in the upward direction. An extra mile. All thunderstorms are dangerous. Lightning occurs with all thunderstorms. This can kill many people. It can cause damage to forests. Water droplets are also carried upward along with these winds. These water droplets then freeze and falls back on the earth. This movement of rapidly rising warm air and the falling droplets of water creates lightning and sound. What precautions must be taken during a thunderstorm? We must take the following precautions during a thunderstorm. If you are outside, avoid taking shelter under tall trees or walls. Avoid isolate sheds run in open areas. Try to get into a car or a bus or take shelter inside building. Do not touch the metal parts of the car or bus. Stay away from the water bodies. Water conduct electricity. If you are in, move out to a safe shelter. If you are inside, close the windows and doors tightly. Draw blinds over the windows. This will prevent glass sheltering into the house. Do not touch electrical equipments or telephones. Keep listening to a battery operated radio for latest information. Avoid contact with electrical equipments or cords. Avoid corded phones. Cyclones. The word cyclone is derived from the Greek word cyclones meaning the coils of a snake. A cyclone is a huge revolving storm caused by very high speed winds blowing around a central area of low pressure zone over the ocean. Formation of cyclones. The formation of a cyclone is a very complex process factors like wind, speed, wind direction, temperature and humidity contributes to the development of cyclones. 
the sun heats the surface of ocean water the warm water in turn heats the air above it this causes a low pressure on a vast area of the ocean due to the low pressure the moist air from the ocean surface begins to rise rapidly this creates a strong upward wind that rotates spirally as a warm and moist air containing a lot of water vapor rise high up in the atmosphere it gets cooled and the water vapor present in it condenses to form cloud called thunder clouds when water vapor condenses it releases heat the heat released by the condensation of water vapor in the atmosphere warms the air all around this warms air rises higher into the atmosphere causing a low pressure more air rush to the center of the storm the cycle is repeated the chain of events end with the formation of a very low pressure system with very high speed winds revolving around it the weather condition consisting of a system of high speed winds revolving around a central area of very low pressure to the center of cyclone is called its eye once a cyclone is formed it begins to move over the surface of ocean the speed of wind in the cyclone is more than 120 km a cyclone needs a constant supply of warm and moist air when air gradually stops the cyclone dies down in the southern hemisphere these tropical storms are called cyclones and rotate in a clockwise direction so these are the pictures who is showing northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere this is the movement of air in these two hemisphere in the northern hemisphere cyclones are called hurricanes or typhoons and rotate in an anti clockwise direction india has a large coastline which makes it vulnerable to cyclones both in terms of intensity and frequency of the cyclones destruction caused by cyclones water in the water bodies gets pushed towards the shore which is indicative of on approaching cyclone the surge of water can wash away everything on the shore leading to loss of life the low pressure in the center of the cyclone also collect at the eye of the cyclone can lift the water in the seas high as the cyclone moves towards the shore This results in sea water entering the low lying area near the coast and causing damage to life and property. If a cyclone is accompanied by strong winds, nothing can stand in its way leading to huge loss of life and property. Depression cyclones are of the temperate latitudes especially in Europe are often called depressions since they are system with low pressure centers. winds are not very violent and they do not cause any damage they are mainly associated with rain hurricanes tropical cyclones in the gulf of mexico the caribbean sea and western pacific ocean are known as hurricanes these winds are violent and cause severe damage to life and property typhoons tropical cyclones that originate in china sea are known as typhoons These winds are also violent and destructive. Tornadoes. These are storms which form very suddenly on the land. The highest wind speeds on the earth occur in tornadoes sometimes reaching 50 km per hour. A tornado look like a twisting funnel of air as it goes it sucks up anything on its path including buildings, trees, cows and cars and drops them when its force decreases they are most common and most violent in the usa if a tornado forms over the sea it is known as water spout when it touches the water of the ocean water is sucked up they seem to rise out of the sea like enormous dark gray sea serpents An efficient cyclone forecast and warming service must be established. Arrangement of rapid communication of the warming to ports, fishermen, ships and the general public. Construction of cyclone shelters in areas prone to cyclones and developing awareness about them among people. Fast and effective ways of 
moving people to safe places in the event of an approaching cyclone. Safety measures or action to be taken by the people. People on their part must actively participate in the program towards safety from cyclones. Do not ignore the warnings issued by Meteorological Department through TV, radio or newspaper. Make necessary arrangements to ship the essential household goods, domestic animals and vehicle etc. to safer places. Avoid driving on roads through standing water as floods may damage the roads. Keep ready the phone numbers of all emergency services like police, fire, brigade and medical centers. Precautions to be taken when you are in a cyclone hit area. Do not drink water available from local sources. It might have got contaminated. Drink safe water. Do not touch any electrical wire or switch etc. Cooperate with your neighbors and help them. Advanced technology for cyclone forecasting and warming. The Indian Meteorological Center is now using advanced technology by making use of satellites and radars for cyclone forecasting and warnings. Cyclone warnings are given through a variety of communication media such as radio, television, newspaper, police, wireless network. The cyclone warnings are issued in two stages. First, the first stage warning known as cyclone alert or cyclone watch is issued 48 hours in advance of any expected storm or cyclone. Second, the second stage warning known as cyclone warning is issued 24 hours in advance. This gives sufficient time to people to evacuate the cyclone prone area. The message of cyclone warning is broadcasted every hour on half are when the cyclone is near it, the coast. Several national and international organizations cooperate to monitor the cyclone related disasters. So, students, it's time for Reader's Digest. Air is colorless, odorless, and tasteless. The cover of the air surrounding the earth is called atmosphere. The earth is completely surrounded by air. Moving air is called wind. Wind currents are generated due to uneven heating on the earth. A thunderstorm is a storm accompanied with thunder. Once a cyclone is formed, it begins to move over the surface of ocean. So students, it's time to take your leave. Bye. We'll meet in the next class.